Hello, hello, Leos. What up, all my Leo sun, moon, rising, or whatever Leo placement you got here? How are you guys doing today? I am Jair, and this is Tara with Jai. And welcome to my channel. So this is just going to be a Leo collective reading. So please, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and do not let it take from you, okay? Um, if it did not resonate, please go check out your other placements. Um, I'm actually very excited because it's actually the first time I'm going to be doing something in this platform where I am going to be doing um, Zodiac signs for real, for real, and trying to be dedicated when it comes to that. <laughs> And so when I post um, readings like this, my goal is to post um, sister signs. So I just got actually done recording um, Aquarius. And so that's what I'm going to do is like post like hopefully sister signs at least once a day next to each other. But also I do want to say it, depending on the season and who gets the pictures, whoever gets the reading first. So since it is Aquarius season, when I post this Aquarius will be first. And then, and so on and so forth. The next season will be Pisces, and they'll be the first ones to get videos as well. And so I just wanted to say that that's how it's done. So let's just get into this reading. But before we get into the, that, if you like us, go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the royal court. We would love to have you here. Okay, we are a big old family that is um, growing. And okay, I would love to keep growing. If you want to book your own personal reading, check out my link in the description box below. That's the only way you can book a reading with me. Um, is through there, through my booking website, okay? Do not trust these scammers because they're coming for us Royal Court members. If you want to join my Patreon, my Patreon roller, my Royal Court, check out my Patreon description box below. If you don't feel called to do it now, you feel called to do it later, it will always be there. If you feel like sending love offerings and donations, please check the description box below if you feel called to. It's not, it's not, um, recommend, not, I'm not, um, it's not required. It's always, um, um, optional and it's always grateful, okay? But um, other than that, I just want to get into your reading. I'm shuffling cards right now so I can get the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energy for my Leos right now. This is just um, an overall reading of what you guys just need to know. I don't know what I'm going to call the title, but hey, I just tapped my um, microphone. So I apologize if you heard a noise. And so for this reading, we'll be looking into um, your astrological houses. Um, which we'll be looking to your first house, which is yourself. We'll be looking into your second house, which is career and current economics. We'll be looking into the fourth house, which is um, home and family. And we'll be looking into your seventh house, which is your relationship, dating, marriage, matrimony, etc. Okay. And so let's um, look at your cards now and see what this is. That was such a shorter intro than... Um, Aquarius. I was nervous at first, but you know what? I feel way more comfortable. Um, I don't want to mess up my mic. So if you guys hear a noise, I apologize. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. And so let's just get into it, okay? So for the Divine Feminine, we have Quan Yin with Compassion. Ooh, okay, Leo. And then we have Vishnu with balance. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Comment below if I'm not, which most likely I'm not. I'm not trying to butcher their name, so no disrespect. So divine feminine, this divine feminine right now is compassion. And then we also have balance for the divine masculine. Interesting for Leos. We'll get into those, but let's just draw the cards here. So let's just see Leo right now. Let's just see Leo. What's going on with Leo? What's going on with Leo right now? What's going on with Leo? <sighs> okay. Mm. What's going on with Leo? All right. All right. Um, let's get into your first house, which is yourself. We have the knight. We have the knight of swords. Okay. The lovers. The six of pentacles. Oh, somebody's feeling generous. Um, somebody's really feeling like I want to give out to people or like feel like I need to reciprocate energies. Second house, your career. Ten of swords. Okay. Queen of pentacles. 
Um, fourth house, home and family. Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, and then for relationships, the Moon, the Two of Swords. Uh oh. Well, not uh oh. <laughs> let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, I'll explain it later. I will be pulling clarifiers for this, but let's just get into it. Um, compassion, balance. Now I see where the balance coming from with the Divine Masculine for Leos. Especially with the Six of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Knight of Swords. You're so, right now, Leos, I could definitely feel like you're so in a rush. Or like, so like, I want to charge after this. Especially when it comes to connections. Um, a lot of you guys, Leos, you're in the energy of like really showing a lot of people compassion. But also healing a lot of connections. Um, with and, it, and honestly, you guys have good intentions behind it. With the um, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords... To me, it talks about intentions. And with the lovers and the six of pentacles, oh, excuse me, well, that was confirmation. You guys definitely are trying to either heal connections, find closure within connections. You guys are just being more generous and giving out your love. Also, some of you guys could be loaning out money. So also be careful of how much you loan out and also be careful of how people take advantage of that because people would definitely take advantage of that if it's like that, okay? Just make sure that with the connections, you're making the right choice because the lover's card can be choice, especially when it's in like a right away Smith imagery. I call that my choice card, but usually I talk about connections with this. But we can talk about it being a choice and you being very picky and choosy of who you allow to um, have that energy, who you allow to really reciprocate that energy because you're only searching for someone who is definitely can reciprocate the, your compassion your love, your generosity. You want that reciprocation. And that's really what it is. And I think that's a great thing for Leo to reciprocate. So let's clarify the Knight of Swords, the Lovers, and the Six of Pentacles. There's nothing wrong with wanting reciprocation. That's just the way we want it. I mean, that's just the way that humans like it. If you do this for me, oh, okay, that card fell out. We do have the Two of Swords that fell out. Uh, what else? Can you clarify the first house? Show me the first house, please. Show me the first house. What else about the first house? Two of swords. That's not the way I wanted to go. It's this way. There we go. Six of cups. Another six. The ten, The wheel of fortune. I almost said the ten of something. It's the wheel of fortune. Two of Swords, Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. You guys have been thinking about this for a while, trying to reconnect with someone, trying to make amends with someone. You guys have been really thinking about this for a while with the Two of Swords. The Six of Cups, I feel like you already know these people or you know this specific person. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I do see a good change coming in. And honestly, this was actually meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. Whoever you fell out with, whoever you decided not to get close with, or whoever you decide to like cut off, quote unquote, I definitely see you guys going back to this person to actually make amends and actually regrow what you guys did before or actually start over. And honestly, this was meant to happen. The wheels are actually turning into the situation where now you guys have become more aware of what's going on. Take it how it resonates, okay? This is a general reading. Um, and so I definitely see you guys, you guys have been contemplating about this a long time. Like, oh, should I go back? Will they even listen to me? Will I even listen to what they have to say? With that compassion energy, with the divine feminine energy, now granted, I'm, I'm saying the divine masculine, divine feminine energy because we, we all have those. It's not a gender-specific reading. So I'm saying as a Leo, you have this compassion energy with your divine feminine energy, but also the divine masculine having this balance. So this is just both Leos combined. I'm just calling it what it is. Um, if you have any questions, comment um, comment below. I'll get to it as soon as I can. But that's really what I'm seeing with yourself. I see you guys preparing to reconnect with people that you used to, but I'm seeing a specific person with that, okay? Now, let's get to your second house, which is your career and current economics. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. And I, either you guys are going to get let go, fired, you guys are going to quit, but honestly, that is actually going to be the best thing for you, in my opinion. 
why the queen of pentacles is here which talks about a lot of comfort and security that you're trying to aim for a lot of you guys also need to be careful of a backstabber in your workspace currently a lot of you guys definitely need to um <laughs> Be careful of backstabbers. Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a female Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus, but it doesn't have to. Take it how it resonates. But this also talks about a reset and actually the ending of how you view money, how you view your career, how you view your economics. And especially with, I said this in Aquarius, especially how the economics in the world is right now, we also are going to have to strongly advise to watch out for that because that is something that is that people are struggling with right now. So I see you guys looking at money and I love how the queen of coin, the queen of pentacles, queen of coins, same difference, is looking at the pentacles. I love how she's looking at the pentacle, more cherishing it, more in a better mindset than what she was. And I, I think that's really where you guys are at, especially with the swords energy. The swords energy is a mental energy. So there is a mental change coming in for you guys for money. Let's clarify this. Ten of swords, queen of pentacles. What is this about? Ten of swords, queen of pentacles. 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 Lord have mercy. Cars want to fly out for you, Leo. We have two. I'll say, let me get one more. Cars are flying out for you, Leo. Show me Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Show me that energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what these two cards are. The Hermit. The Nine of Wands. The Five of Wands, okay. Okay. Oh, I see you guys not trying to get into any drama, any conflict when it comes to money and your economics. I see you guys choosing peace over everything. If there's drama in your workspace, you ain't having it. You're going to keep to yourself. You're going to nod your head, be like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You'll give your two cents, and your two cents is so up in the air that people won't even know if you're agreeing with them or not. I like that energy because it's like you're putting up a boundary because somebody is trying to be petty. Again, I feel like it's the queen of pentacles. I feel like it's a feminine energy. doesn't have to. A female, an earth sign female trying to start pettiness, trying to start some conflict because she can. I see you guys not doing that. The hermit, I'm being to myself. There is someone you need to watch out for in your career, but also there's someone needs to watch out for when you ask for money as well, Leo. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to that. But other than that, I, that's what I see when it comes to career. Just be careful of people that, that's surrounding you right now. Be careful of people who are not here for your best of interest, but of course, you'll see it. <laughs> Leos, you will definitely see it a mile away. That's why the hermits here, you're to yourself. Now, let's get to your fourth house, which is home and family. Page of Cups, Eight of Cups. Who? Page of Cups, Emotional Attachments, Eight of Cups. You. It's the same energy with this, but the work career with, is like I'm to myself. Here, I'm just walking away, detaching myself. I see you guys really stepping away from family situations and also family members that you used to attach yourself to. And I think this is definitely the walk away that's needed to happen. But we all know that, especially with the home and family, you have a lot of emotion for your love, for your home and family. You love your family. You love the home that you're living in. Um, a lot of you guys for the home structure, I see you guys walking away from this, going to a new home. Um, or trying to find a new home, this old home that you're living in right now, it's, it's served its purpose. Some of you guys are actually plotting. You may not be moving immediately, but you are plotting too. And I, and I see that. You're detaching yourself slowly but surely from the house now so it can be easier for you to move in the future. But when it comes to family members, I see you guys, the attachment that you have to your family, to a specific family drama or a, or a specific family situation, I see you guys moving on from that. It's not benefiting you. It's emotionally draining you at this point. There's nothing wrong with that. Once you realize how to keep your peace from your family, 
once you learn how to keep those strong boundaries from your family, it, it's something beautiful, but people will also look at you like, what the hell? We family, bro. We family, sis. Come on now. You need to do this. You need to do that. But like, huh, huh. But I want to keep my own peace. That's exactly what this energy is. So clarify, let's see. Clarify page of cups, eight of cups. Clarify page of cups, eight of cups. So I'm curious about this energy. What's going on? Two of coins. Temperance. Eight of coins. See, the thing is, you already tried to make it work. <laughs> you already tried to make it work and it's not where it that's why you're that's why you're moving on that's why you're detaching yourself emotionally it didn't work two of coins the temperance the eight of coins the eight of coins talks about efforts let's try to work this out the temperance talks about you were actually patient with this person you were actually giving your love and pouring into things try to make it better and the two of coins in this card it's just <laughs> the priorities was making things harsh and they were actually battling more than trying to make it settle specifically in this card oh goodness specifically in this card that's not how the two of swords is typically read but of course based on intuition and storytelling that's what i'm seeing you try to put your emotions into it. And I'm not saying that you're not attached because this page of cups tells me that there's still going to be a little bit, not a lot, but there will be a little bit of emotional attachment to it, but you're, it's enough to really have love for that family, but not be affected emotionally. You already put the effort into it. You already did that. Already. <laughs> Leo, I, you, you already put in the effort. Yes, I understand. Yes, that's your family. You want to go back to it, but you're already on your journey to detaching yourself enough so you're not affected by it if any changes come in. And the temperance here I'm also looking at is that you're preserving a lot of emotions and another thing while you give yourself to there as well. You already poured enough into one, um, one jar that was enough to do that, but now you're pouring it into another jar for yourself so you're not draining. So you're not draining yourself. So I definitely see that with family. You're, you're separating yourself from a person, a family situation, an old family situation. Some of you guys, this could be old family situations that you're still holding on to. Oh, excuse me. That was confirmation. Oh, Leos, we are getting confirmation. Excuse me. Lord have mercy. Um, That was so rude. I hope anybody, I hope no one got uncomfortable with that. I, I apologize for that. I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> Really quick. I hope no one got an uncomfortable kind of that. That's just one thing I do when I get clear when I get um confirmation for some things. That or I get random songs. So that's for your fourth house. Leo, let's get into your seventh house. The moon and the two of swords. So Take it how it resonates. A lot of you guys are bisexual and discovering that the moon card is also hidden. A lot of you guys are in the closet with being bisexual. The two of cords is a bisexual card to me. Um, a lot of you guys are bisexual and in the closet with it. And you're trying to figure out male, female, non-binary, what is like it. That's what it is. Now, if you're not, if that did not resonate, the moon and the two of swords. <sighs> At this point, I feel like you're swinging blindly when it comes to love and relationships, whether you're single or in a committed relationship. I see you guys just going blindly. <laughs> you guys are definitely not trying to see through the BS. It's like, oh, my emotions, let me hide my emotions. Oh, I don't want love right now, but honestly, you do. Oh, I've been hurt so many times, but you've healed. There's too much water here <laughs> for you not to say that you don't want to be emotionally invested into someone. Trying to figure out the best way to cut your emotions out, to hide your emotions from someone or something. Well, no, someone. We're talking about relationships and dating. 
No, I don't want to date. Blocking my heart space. Two of swords. Blocking your heart space. I don't want that, but really you do. For some of you guys, someone has come in and tried to persuade you. Actually, not persuade. That's not the word. Somebody has come in on your territory that's really about to make you cr uncross those arms. You're like, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Like, that's really what this is. The moon card. There's so much emotion that you're hiding, but you keep crossing yourself out. Let's clarify this. Y'all fix signs something else. Y'all fix signs are something else. Give me the moon and the two of swords. What's going on here? The moon and the two of swords. Man. The moon and the two of swords. Five of swords. Oh. Seven of wands. Seven of coins. You're, this is fear. This is definitely fear. You know, some people clarify, classify the moon as a fearful card as well. But um, this is a lot of fear. I mean, this is your typical case of I've been hurt before and I don't want to be hurt again. So I'm going to do the cutting off. I'm going to do the player shit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the HOE. I'm going to do this because I don't want to get hurt. That's exactly what this energy is. <laughs> That's exactly what this energy is. I'm doing this so I won't get hurt. That's not the way to go. Because you actually want to put in the effort, seven of coins here. You actually want to build what you, you want to admire what you grow. But at the same time, the seven of wands, look at these imageries. That's why I choose the decks I do. I'm sorry if I bumped my, I'm, I'm sorry if I bumped my, um, um, my mic. I'm trying to get used to it being there. This is why I love actually just, I pick the decks I do for a reason. With this shadow, when she's looking over her shoulders, you're looking over your shoulders too much and not opening yourself up. That's exactly what this energy is for Leos. I've been hurt. I've been burned. I've been, things have been done wrong to me. I've been falsely accused. And now I'm looking over my shoulder. But honestly, what you're looking over your shoulder, you're only seeing half the picture of what it there can be. But right now, with Leo's with their, in, with their in their relationships, you could be dealing with someone, but you're definitely looking over your shoulder for the next hurt. When honestly, it's not really hurt that you're looking at. You're just looking at it halfway. You're actually looking at something that could be invested in, something that can actually grow, something that can actually be good for you. You just got to look at it. <laughs> you just got to look at it, Leo. I mean, that's, the, that's, that's what I could say. That's really what I can say about that. Um, I just see Leos that have been hurt, and now they're doing the hurting. Healing is definitely going to be big. Um, one thing about healing is that you have to open your heart in order to heal. I really do. I do believe in that. And that's one thing I'm hearing. You have to actually turn around and look at it before you start making assumptions, okay? So that's the seventh house message. I want to get some last bit of guidance for my Leos here. So for Leos, what is going on? What guidance does Leo need to know right now? What guidance do Leos need to know right now? Everything's okay. Disbelief alone. Yeah, okay unanswered, frustrated. A lot of you guys are frustrated about things not being clear. The number 22, 444 is definitely significant. And honestly, this reconnection could be with someone that got away into your opinion. I mean, in your opinion, this person could have gotten away or you're reconnecting with your partner that's still around. You just feel personally alone. 
and you have this disbelief that you can't really bond with people. Because it just seems that everything here is like, oh, I have to watch my back at work. Oh, I got to watch my back at family. Now I got to watch my back with family with relationships. It's just like you are, some of you guys are in this disbelief. And again, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates. This may not resonate with you at this time. It just feels like that you guys just feel like you can't trust nobody. You can. These are just lessons for you to realize who you can trust or not. And now it's affecting relationships, but it's affecting your relationships in a good way. You may not see it, but it's always going to end out good. You're experiencing the negatives and the bad parts now so you can experience the, the positives in the future. We have Michael here with blue, wise, honest, trustworthy observation. You're learning. <laughs> you're learning. Blue could be a significant color, but you're learning. That's what it is. You're going through this experience to learn and to make sure that life isn't just all about pinks and rainbows. You're learning no matter how old you are. It is a learning experience. Renewed connections. Oh, isolated. What is that? Estranged. Separation. Grudge. I see a, the reconnection was right there. That two of swords energy. <laughs> That's the constant plan. Is there a grudge here? You don't. The reason the reconnection card is in its alternative energy. Why do I call alternative? Why do I call reversal cards alternative? Check the description box below on how I love to read tarot. Right now, I do feel you guys, especially with alone and isolation. I see, again, Leos, I see you guys reopening yourself up. That's how we started off the reading. You're reconnecting. But what you are also experiencing in your general life within your work, family, and your relationships, it is making it hard for that. And that's perfectly fine. But I see Leos overcoming. You just got to remember to find that balance. And to also have compassion for others, but most importantly, have that compassion for yourself to even do so. Let's get one more. Zachriel, is that what it is? Zachriel, I think that's how Zachriel with purple. Purple could be significant. We have destiny, pride, conscious, and forgiveness. And the fact that we have destiny here in the Wheel of Fortune, it's just what it is. It's meant to be what it is. There's nothing wrong with it. And forgiveness is such a big thing here that it's, it's just meant to happen. Number 12, 6, 2, 2, 2, 32 could be significant. The fact that we have 6 and 12 and then 22 as a master number, 4, 4, 4, like I said. Um, signs, I see. Just so, just in case that resonates because it's not, a, it's not a, it doesn't really matter. Take it how it resonates. A Virgo. Gemini, um, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer. Um, yeah, those are the signs that I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, Earth sign, female, we talked about that. Yeah, those are the signs I'm seeing. But Leo, that was your reading. I hope you guys liked that. If you did, go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. We will be a part of the Royal Court. We'd love to have you here. If you have any more inputs, I'm going to do readings like this for you guys, but it will be random. They're going to be different topic all around, um, whatever I feel called to. I just felt called to do a general overview. Um, also, um, if you guys want to um, be a part of my Patreon gang, check out my Patreon in the description box below. Um, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, check out my link in the description box below. That's the only way you can book a reading with me. If you guys want to send a love offering or a donation, please check out the description box below. Everything else is in the description box below. So I will see you guys later, my Leos. I love you. I like you. I'm so grateful for you. And like I always say, stay confident. You are powerful. Do not let your crown fall. Why? Because you are royalty that rules over all. Bye, Leo.